Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about uh, binary search using recursion method. So you must have learned about linear search. What was linear search? In that you were given an element you had to search for and you were given a list of elements where you had to search it from. Okay. Uh, so what you did that you take took each and every element and you uh, compared it with the given element to check whether it is equal to that element or not and uh, if it is uh, yes then you return the index if uh, if it is not true you took you used to go to the next element until you ended the list okay right so that is the basic way of searching right what whenever you search for something you usually apply that way suppose you are searching for a particular pen among your set of pens you search for all of your pens whether uh, this pen is equal to uh, the pen you are searching for is equal to this pen or not if it is not you are keeping it right but it is always of order n so in our mind intuitively we do not know that uh, there can be any other method that can be faster than it okay you would have to always compare with all of the elements in order to uh, search for the given element but in case of a sorted array, we have a concept of binary search that occurs in order of log of n. That is, it is much more faster than order of n, right? So in binary search, what happens basically is, so today the topic that we are going to cover is binary search. Yeah. So in binary search, what happens exactly is, suppose you are given a list of elements as 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. And you, are, you, have, told, you have been told that you have to search for the element 10. So what happens in binary search is that we always compare it with the middle element and we check. Uh, let me just take another element here as 60. It would be better to understand that soon. Uh, so what it does basically that it compares with your middle element of the list and it reduces your list size because you know that since it's a sorted array, if you are taking the middle element, for example, in this case, it is 30. And if this particular element is greater than your element, you have to search for. So 10 is the element I have to search for, right? So if this particular value is greater than the element that you are going to search for, uh, then I know that my 10 can be only present in this particular section there is no way that it can be present in this particular section since the array is already array or list is already sorted right so uh, this is an example uh, so this is how this is the particular logic behind binary search so i took the middle element how would i calculate the middle element there would be two pointers that i would be using here this is be the suppose low pointer and this would be the high pointer okay the high pointer refers to the last index of your list and the low pointer refers to the first index of the list so using the low and the high pointer can i find out what is the middle index yes obviously i can find out the middle index by performing low plus high by 2 low plus high by 2 Suppose in this particular case, this particular index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the total of the first index and the last index is 0 plus 6 and I have to divide it by 2 obviously and it would be giving me 3, right? So the low plus high is equal to 3 in this case and this is the value of my mid the middle index 
using the middle index i would be comparing it whether this particular value is greater than or less than my suppose i was uh, given i have to search for 75 in this particular array when i am going to my middle value i know that since 75 is greater than the middle value it will always lie to the right hand side of my array and not to the left hand side so i could just basically half my a search space since I'm halving the search space in each and every iteration in order to find out an element I can see that this particular thing is going uh, first I'm searching in 8 then I'm searching in 4 ser search space then I'm searching in 2 and then I'm searching in 1 so this is ba basically the logarithmic uh, series and you can say that I am taking a complexity of log to the base 2 and in order to find out the uh, that this particular element is present in uh, the array or not okay so uh, what would be the next step suppose this is my mid and I am seeing that uh, the element I am searching for is uh, to the left of it so what I would do I would be changing my high pointer and I would be pointing it to mid minus 1 okay so this is my new array then again I would be calculating my mid here so what would my mid be 0 plus 2 by 2 that would be giving me 1 so my mid will become this so this would be my mid and then you would be uh, seeing whether what the value of this mid is and how it compares to the element I am searching for. If it is greater, I would be going to the left hand side of the list. If it is less, I would be going to the right hand side of the list. If it is equal, I would be returning the mid value. Okay, that is the index. Since as you can see that here the value of the mid of the array is equal to 10 and the element that we are searching for is also equal to 10 so since these two values are equal to 10 and uh, these two values are equal uh, so we can say that this particular uh, element exists in the array and uh, you can uh, return its particular index otherwise if this particular uh, element does not uh, will would not have been existing in this particular array we would have to return minus one okay so let's now try to uh, implement it using uh, recursion before that I want to say that what if your size of the arrays is in billions if your size of your arrays is in billions so your somewhere your value of your low would be in billion and your value of high would be in billion uh, I, I'm just saying billion in order to uh, enter into your mind that it would be a very large number and on addition of it it could lead to an integer overflow this was a real concern that what if the indexes that I'm providing uh, if they add up and if I am getting an uh, integer overflow, what would happen? So, since addition usually leads to integer overflow, so what is the other method of performing this particular operation is, it would be low plus high minus low by 2. Okay. You can also do this in order to find out the middle index of your particular array. Okay, so let's now go to our pie chart and let's start coding for this particular recursive implementation. So as you can see, there would be three cases. Uh, okay, there would be the first uh, before the three cases, I would have to calculate the uh, middle value. Then. I would have to check whether the mid value is equal to the element that we are searching for then we would have to check whether the middle value is greater than the particular element we are searching for if it is greater then we would be going to the left hand side of the list otherwise we would be going to the right hand side of the list 
and there would be a base condition all uh, usually students get confused with the base condition so we would be doing it the last and uh, we would be explaining explaining it to you how it is exactly working okay so uh, we are in main.py and we would be uh, creating this particular function binary search and we would be providing add we would be providing the low index we will be providing the high index and we would also be providing the element that we are searching for so these are the uh, parameters that we must be passing in order to implement a uh, binary search so first thing first uh, we would have to calculate the mid the mid would be equal to low plus high by 2 let me just keep a uh, integral division because i do not want uh, my particular index to give me a floating value obviously there would be no values present inside a floating value so the mid would be low plus high integral division by 2 then I would be calculating if my mid is equal to my element or not so if air of mid is equal to equal to x or not then I would be returning mid and if R of mid is greater than x what does that mean that if it is greater than uh, mid then I would have to uh, reduce my size of the array and what particular va uh, value that we would be reducing is we would be setting my high equal to mid minus 1 so I would have to return binary search I would be still keeping my low index as the same and I would be returning mid minus 1 as my index and as my last index and also I would have to pass the element that I am searching for and the last condition is that uh, else what does that mean if array of mid is less than x means uh, I am going to the right hand side of the array right so I would be returning binary search add and I would be passing the parameters mid plus 1 I would be passing high and I would be passing the uh, integral uh, the value that we are going to search for that is x okay so this is how we would be uh, particularly having our array as we are going on always remember that this particular thing only works for sorted array now we have written our uh, entire recursive function right now for the last part and the very main part is what would be the base condition what should be the base condition if your low is all if your low is less than high then you would be getting a particular array right you would be uh, getting a particular sub array where you would be searching for a particular element but as soon as your low exceeds your high you there will be no point going through the list because you would be not returning a particular value so if low is greater than high then uh, you would not have found that value uh, because there would be if your low suppose uh, let me show it to you in the diagram if my low is here if I'm searching for 35 and if my low is here and my high is here this does not return to me a particular array right so I cannot search for the element and this it, this usually implies that the element that we are searching for does not exist in our array so if low is greater than high I would have to return minus 1 ok and let's print uh, let's first provide an array here so add is equal to uh, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and this is my R my low is 0 obviously my high is len of R my bad len of R 
minus 1 and the element that I am searching for is 10 and I must get the value of its index that is 1 here let me run my particular code uh, I have not called the particular function only I just pass the parameters uh, so let me run it again yeah so I am getting min uh, 1 as our output which is equal to the index of the element that we are searching for and suppose I am giving 35 as my input since this particular element is not present in my uh, list I would be getting minus 1 as our output so uh, this is it for the recursive implementation of binary search I hope so you understood this, uh, this to uh, topic clearly thanks for watching this video guys see you in the next one